guys, it's Anita T from FactVersFitness.com here to give you guys more gut health facts that are off the book. Today I'm going to discuss the dangers of low fat dieting and some of the information that you guys may hear today actually might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but just remember this is all coming to you guys directly from a nutritional scientist and this information can actually save you guys a lot of grief and a lot of health issues in the future. So listen closely. Low fat dieting is a common method for weight loss and is actually practiced more frequently by women. However, it turns out that low fat dieting may actually be a major culprit in the development of digestive symptoms such as bloating and digestive distress experienced by individuals with irritable bowel syndrome. I must admit that when I was younger, I fell victim to the cycle of low fat dieting for a really long time and I was probably on a low fat diet for the majority of my high school and university career as well. In fact, give this video a thumbs up if you guys have actually been on a low fat diet as well so that I know I'm not the only one who was on it for so long. As many of you guys who follow my channel may actually know though, I developed a sudden onset digestive disorder that spread to my entire body and lasted several years. So I absolutely have no doubt in my mind that being on such an extended low fat diet was a major contributor to the development of this digestive disorder. To understand how a low fat diet can contribute to digestive distress, you first need to understand the role of the gallbladder in digestion. The gallbladder releases digestive fluids, namely bile, in response to sensing fat content in the stomach. Bile is released as one of our body's most powerful digestive fluids in order to aid in the digestive process, especially when it comes to difficult to digest meals, such as those containing high levels of fats. The gallbladder works using a detection process, whereby when fat is in the stomach, the gallbladder can actually detect this and release bile in response to this fat. However, when there's no fat content in a meal, the gallbladder does not release bile, as such powerful digestive fluid is not necessarily needed for that type of meal. This detection process works great when your diet is varied and balanced. However, if you're on a low fat diet for an extended period of time, that's when things can begin to go wrong. After shuffling through scientific data, it becomes really quick and easy to find mountains of evidence that contradict and even warn against these popular low fat dietary trends. This is not only because low fat diets do not produce regular release of bile from the gallbladder, but they also produce reduced stimulation of CCK. CCK is a hormone that stimulates the pancreas to release pancreatic enzymes. So in other words, by being on an extended low fat diet, you're releasing less digestive fluid and less digestive enzymes. If this low fat dietary trend continues, several studies have actually shown that long term low fat dieting, which does not regularly empty the gallbladder, promotes stagnant or sticky bile, which basically means that the bile has thickened and is unable to release as easily when you do consume meals that contain fat. Overall, the result of this is that your digestion actually becomes impeded and impaired. And over time, this can contribute to the development of digestive symptoms, bloating, and even the formation of gallstones. As you guys can see, the long-term low-fat dieting absolutely has to go. However, if you've been doing this for a while, you definitely don't want to switch straight into ketogenic mode or high-fat mode overnight, as this can be really traumatic for your digestion. Additionally, you guys actually want to do this as a balancing act in where you reach the perfect balance of consuming enough fat to promote the maximal release of bile from the gallbladder and the maximal secretion of digestive enzymes, while additionally not consuming so much that you're exacerbating or making worse any current digestive symptoms or problems. This perfect balance appears to be reached by consuming a minimum of 10 grams of fat per meal. Several studies have shown that consuming a minimum of 10 grams of fat per meal actually promotes maximal gallbladder emptying. Additionally, by consuming even higher levels of fat, studies have shown that you could potentially achieve even greater digestive enzyme release as well. So if you can tolerate more, go for it. But if you're just starting out, starting with that 10 grams of fat is a perfect place to start. If you guys are concerned that increasing your fat or getting off your low fat diet may actually promote weight gain, studies have actually shown the opposite. In fact, it's been shown that increasing your dietary fat actually helps to control blood sugar and promotes weight loss. So the likely result of increasing your dietary fat is actually both a combination of weight loss and improved digestion. I realize some of the info that I just gave you guys may seem a little bit contradictory to what you guys may have heard your whole lives. However, note that this is really based on scientific evidence and none of the stuff I've given you is just purely opinion. In fact, 
All of this data is actually really common knowledge among nutritional scientists nowadays. Think about it. If the nutritionists and scientists didn't know more than you guys, then everybody in the general public would have their dream body and perfect digestion. But of course, that's not the case. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope I've given you guys something to think about for the day. If you guys want a scientist on your side to help improve your gut health with facts that are off the book, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Music